Hello again and welcome to your Scotland weather forecast from the Met Office. And it's staying cold for the next few days with the risk of snow continuing through Scotland. We've got a yellow snow and ice warning in force through this evening. Area of rain, sleet and snow pushes its way southwards. And as that clears, skies really do open up to allow those uh, temperatures to dip away with the risk of ice quite widely across the country and frequent snow showers around those northern and western exposed coastal parts. So as we head into Tuesday morning, it's going to be a bitterly cold start to the day. These are the temperatures for most places, but sub-zero out there across much of the, of the country really is going to be feeling bitterly cold first thing on Tuesday morning. So you'll need those scrapers out for the ice and the frost, but also there will be the risk of further snow showers pushing their way in through the day. So quite frequent ones across northern Scotland and also western parts of Scotland, probably falling as a mixture of hail and sleet at the coast, but you don't need to come too far inland or get some elevation and they'll be continuing to fall as snow. So further accumulations likely through much of Tuesday. So just running through the rest of the day, you can see they start to ease their way southwards, but we do open the skies up again through the middle part of the day. So more in the way of sunshine coming through for a time. But again, around our coastal areas, we will continue to see snow showers, particularly for Shetland. I think that's where we could see some quite frequent ones through the day, which will cause further impacts through the rest of Tuesday. And another cold day on the cards. These are the temperatures on the thermometer, but add on the strength of that wind and it will feel even colder out there. So another day to be wrapped up warm if you're heading out and about. Now through Tuesday evening, we continue to see those showers pushing southwards. Sky is clearing once again and winds falling light, which will allow our temperatures to really drop away as we head through Tuesday night. We do keep some snow showers affecting the Hebrides, the Western Highlands as well, but also for Orkney and Shetland. That's where we keep this weather warning in place with further snow showers likely. So as we head into Wednesday morning, after that very cold start to the day, some places minus 10 first thing, we will see a lot of sunshine through Wednesday and the winds ease down as well. So a much brighter feeling day, not quite as chilly out there if you're heading out and about with still the risk of some showers around. But as I say, most places seeing some sunshine. But later in the day, you will start to see those skies turn a little bit hazy as we see this area of cloud and rain just starting to fringe into the far southwest of Scotland as we head to the afternoon on Wednesday. Temperature wise though, as I say, feeling cold out there, but not quite as biting as it did on Tuesday. Temperatures of three to six degrees Celsius for most places, which is below average for where we should be approaching the middle of March. Now, as we head through the second half of this week, we will continue to see low pressure dominating our weather, but a change in the wind direction coming up from the southwest means that it will turn much milder. So for all of Scotland, we will start to see rain instead of snow. And I think for most places as well, some of that snow that is on the ground will begin to melt. So that does pose the risk of some flooding later in the week, one we're keeping a close eye on. And that cold air never too far away to the north. So there is the potential for still the risk of some snow affecting the Northern Isles from time to time, even through to Friday. But of course you can catch up with the latest on the further distance forecast on our social media channels. And I'll be back again soon in the next few days. Take care, bye-bye.